Now I actually am kind of a little happy that it's a bit drizzly today because this spot I'm going to, for anybody that comes down to Forest Park, this is like the spot where everybody goes to stop and hang out. And because it's been kind of off and on drizzly today, there really, I mean, as you can kind of see, there's really nobody around here today. So hopefully when I get there, it won't be packed with people. But I'm gonna take you to something that, if you live in Portland, you know it. Uh, this is one of the most well-known, kind of cool places to check out in the city. So if you're a Portlander, this is old hat to you. I'm gonna take you to see the Witch's Castle. Now the Witch's Castle is a rundown, it used to be a ranger station, because this used to be a lot more, you know, now there's houses up here and stuff, this used to be a lot more secluded, forested area. So they actually had a ranger station down there, and then it also doubled as a rest area, because, you know, when this wasn't quite as easily accessible, there were still, you know, weekend warrior hiker types that came through here. And this gave them a spot to stop and rest to use a rest area if they needed to. And so again, I mean, if you're a local, you know, and I say, oh, I'm going to Witch's Castle, you're going to be like, yeah, whatever. I go there every other Sunday. But uh, it's important to remember that, you know, as I'm producing this channel, it's not just, it's not just about, you know, locals. You know, I hope, you know, locals in the area who maybe don't know a lot about the history around here and want to learn will gain something from these videos. Uh, but th I also, you know, th I post these videos on YouTube for all to see. Hmm. So, you know, those things that are well known and kind of just, you know, another thing in the city to locals here, they're going to be unique to somebody who doesn't live in the area. So, I think, you know, those of you who are from around the area, you're really going to think this spot's pretty cool. Speaking of pretty cool. So apparently there was a landslide up here. I'm not scared. Apparently nobody else is either because everyone is still coming up this pass by a couple of people. I'm getting to that damn castle. I reckon this is the uh, the landslide of which they spoke. Oddly enough, I mean it's slippery, sure, but it didn't really it didn't really damage the trail too badly. You can still walk through there. Man, yeah, there's been, from the winter, there's just been so much tree damage. So many trees that are down, they've been chopped up and moved out of the way. I'm seeing this everywhere. Oh boy. Looks like, uh, last slide number two. Damn. They were, this, this winter has just been... Uh, just a damn, just a joke. God. It's usually not this difficult. Being that long of a trek, but I'm here. Now, despite its dilapidated state, you might be led to think this thing's like 80, 100 years old. This was actually only built back in the 60s. 
But essentially, once it outlived its use, I love the echo in here. Uh, they just kind of left it out here. They just kind of started falling apart. I mean, this you got a stone structure built on top of, you know, some semblance of a foundation, but you're out in the middle of the wilderness, you know, it's, and you're not being upkept, and it just kind of started to corrode and fall apart. So it earned the name the Witch's Castle. Some people say this place was haunted. You know, there's rumors, stories that go around about how people, you know, people were killed out there and their spirits are still haunting this place. Honestly, I'm not here enough to prove or disprove that, but, you know, the name The Witch's Castle is already kind of crazy enough as it is. And see, you kind of go up the steps here and venture through the doorway. See, you can still see it's very just awesome. And here, I mean, this is probably, you know, this was a room at one time. You know, and look, this is actually really cool. The original frame to this window is still here. And over here too. Yeah, look at this. This is original frame for a window here. And yeah, see, it's just kind of crumbled and corroded. It hasn't really changed too much since I was a kid. So you've got this kind of semi-door insulation type stuff, because you got an entryway on this side, and then you've got an entryway through there. You can see you've got an old window up here. You know, presumably there was a window up there at one point. Yeah, right there you can see kind of this dip. That's where, that's where the window on this side used to be, in you know, connection with that one. So yeah, it just chipped off right where that window was. So yeah, this... This place is awesome. It looks like there was a big window here at one time, I'm assuming. Yeah, this, this was kind of more or less kind of just forgotten out here. Um, you know, again, this wasn't that popular of a place to go. And mostly in the 80s, it kind of just got rediscovered by like kids that wanted to go out in the woods and, you know, party and get drunk. And this started becoming like a party place because no one else was out here. It was the perfect getaway. And then kind of, you know, the story grows and grows and grows. And before you know it, this place kind of gets repurposed after just sitting out here abandoned for so long. It's so great. Let's have to walk through here one more time. Excuse me. Can I get a drink? Something? Hello? Has anybody been home? What kind of a hospitality barn is this? Yeah, yeah screw this, you know. I'm going somewhere else. Somewhere where I can get a good stiff drink. That actually sounds so good right now. I might get a drink before I go. <laughs> Alcoholic much? I more or less want to believe that this was the restroom. I mean, now it's just, oh my god. That definitely wasn't here the last time I was here. God, if there was an actual door right here, I would not be in here. But yeah, is that supposed to be Bob Marley? I know what it looks like. I mean, you can't really see it but the hair. So yeah, you know, a little, little tag, but then again, what is it anymore? That was fun. That was a fun little trip down memory lane, even though I was here a couple months ago. But you know, the witch's castle is always worth always worth another visit, even though it took forever to freaking get out here, or at least so it felt. But anyway, you know, for you Portlanders, just a little bit of the same old, same old. But for you that aren't from the area, I mean, come on, pretty cool. <laughs> Anywho, all that said, all that fun had. This has been Steve, the amateur historian. And I'll see you guys next time.
as my mom liked to say, I think I'm getting a little rummy.